Life is so difficult for an elder disabled man to live alone in the city of Windu, and as poverty continues to be a problem in our communities, we occasionally discover seniors living alone and faced by different challenges. So today, together with the Hadula Foundation team, we went to visit Tatekulu Mateus Kashelele, who lives alone in Winduk Sukaanje Park, in order to help him with his daily chores. On this Saturday morning, we arrived at his home, where we found him seated outside. He welcomed us very happily, and this is his story. As we arrived, Tatiklu Matias immediately went inside his shack and brought out all his clothes that needed to be washed and gave it to the team who started with the laundry. I tried to inquire about his living lifestyle and his family background, and it was really difficult to make him tell us the true story about his life. Firstly, he told us that he has children of his own and currently lives with a son who traveled to the north. This was until a neighbor arrived and informed us that Tate Matthias was not being honest about his story. The neighbor stated that she has known Tate Matthias since she was a child and that no one other than herself and her mother has ever come to visit him claiming to be his child or a family member. He doesn't have a family or kids here. We only, only us we can help him. He, either he want water or take him to the hospital. Only us. So. So it's just been you guys that have been like ever since you were small you yes. have known him. Yeah. And it's just been you and your mother that have been helping him, taking him to the hospital yes. and everything. Yes. So like when when last like when you went, took him to the hospital, what was he suffering from? He apparently was suffering from. Stroke. Stroke. Yeah. Oh, and then. <coughs> okay, I see. It was, yeah. <coughs> so he does. There was also a time when he was having what? A heart attack. Heart attack. Mm -hmm. oh. After a lot of talking, we eventually managed to convince him to tell us his true story. It was quite sad to hear him open up to us and we listened as he spoke. Tateglo Mateus walks with clutches because a car accident apparently broke one of his legs. He claims that he was in seven car accidents and that his legs had gotten worse and that he could no longer walk on his own. He revealed that he moved to Windu when he was just 17 years old and he has resides there ever since. Tateglo Mateus lives alone in his shack because he does not have a family of his own. Despite his disability and age, he claimed to still be capable of cooking for himself because there is no one to do it for him every day. He says that he is still surviving today because of his patient fund as he does not even receive the Harambe food package. He said that he does not receive the Harambe food package because the committee members in Okanja Park claim that he is not eligible because he received the patient fund. Personally, I'm not sure if that's a rule, that if you get a patient fund, then you can't get the Arambe food. Please do let me know in the comment section if that's a rule. Major? Oh, I think I could. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. Oh, okay. Saya guna nak cuci aku nak nanti tuan aku nunggu kena pun dan apa? Nak pun dan apa? Oh. Nak apa sih dah jadi batu? Oh. Saya drat sih di aku nak asing di kena kari kuat fikir kau. Tate Kulumatias explained that he divide his patient fund with the monthly medical checkups and he find it very difficult to go through the entire month with the food he buys from the money. He also complained about his health issues such as the chest pain and the unending cough. He shared that his life is very difficult and if there is any Samaritan who can help him with food or any zinc material, 
so that he can expand his shack. He says that there is a need to expand his room because it's very small and it might pose danger as he uses a gas stove and a paraffin lamp which might result to fire outbreak as his room is overcrowded inside. If there is anyone who knows anything about his family or anyone that can help trace his family, that will also be of great assistance. For any help, the information is provided in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. I'm Elizabeth Jolome and this is Patriotism with Elizabeth. Thank you for watching and see you next time.